Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Today, what I'm doing is I'm doing a test on a pond. The homeowner is wondering is it evaporation or is it um, a leak? So, what I did yesterday is I filled up the pond to a certain level, cut off the pumps, made sure I had aeration for the fish. The reason why I'm doing that is I want to isolate the pond from the waterfalls. So this is a unique situation. It's an indoor pond that is actually in a greenhouse. So come on along. Let's check it out. All right, so we're inside the greenhouse right now, and I'll show you the pond. So here's the indoor pond inside a greenhouse. It's got a baby gate around it because we want to make it safe for the, the grandkids until they grow up enough to know. A couple other things that are interesting in here. Look at this little guy. He's eating his breakfast. Isn't he cute? We've got a tortoise in here whose name is Aubrey. Let's see if we can't show you what Aubrey looks like. There's Aubrey. Hey Aubrey, did I wake you up? All right, so what we've got is the pond has been shut off for 24 hours. I've made a mark right here on a small stone that's just a little bit underwater. So tomorrow I'm going to stop back. I'm going to check that water level. Now if that water fluctuates a little, little bit, I'm not too concerned. I mean, we're in a greenhouse with a lot of exposure. It's going to be up around 50 50 degrees outside it'll probably be up 80 90 degrees in here now they do have louvers up in the ceiling that are temperature controlled so but the indoor this indoor greenhouse stays about 70 75 degrees during the day so we can't really rule out the heat or evaporation yet we start going down inches then we start getting concerned so if that's the case we let the water go down until it stops going down maybe it's maybe it's a low edge liner around here we did check that the other day but we're still not going to rule it out after we've established that the pond holds water we'll turn on the waterfalls biological filter over here in this corner spillway box over here so we get some really nice sound in here but we'll turn that on put our waders on we can't really walk around the back of this section over here so what we'll have to do is we're going to have to um, get down in the water and we'll have to uh, search from inside the pond just, just to see if there's any low liner here or there and we'll take it from there Alright, this is day number two and we're back over here to our greenhouse pond. We're going to check it out. So this is what we found. Alright, so our mark on our rock over here didn't change but a fraction of an inch. So what I did is I turned on the waterfalls and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back in there. I'm going to check just to see if there's any water 
possibly coming out from the side here. Maybe, maybe the liner needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to get in there, play around with the fish, and then uh, I'm going to just check, check around to see if I can't find any, any small spots. Look at the turtle over here. All right, we're here for the final test. Going inside, we're gonna see if there's any water loss since we've left just the waterfall running. No autofill valve. We don't want any miss, we don't want any misreadings. So let's cross our fingers, let's go on inside. Alright, the water level is the same as it was yesterday. The autofill valve is still off. That's a great sign. And everybody here is ready to be fed. Including this little guy. So, that's a wrap. I didn't want to be inside too long. It's early in the morning on a Saturday and the homeowners, whether they were up or not, um, I didn't want to wake them. Anyways, that's a great thing. Always makes me a little nervous doing uh, indoor ponds and you get a phone call that, I think I might have a leak. That really does not make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. This was a great end result for this pond. We went through the steps. We showed you what to do, even if it's an outdoor pond. You suspect a leak, shut off any sources that are filling your pond first. Then, shut off all your pumps. Make sure that if you have fish in your pond, you put an aerator down in there just to give them some oxygen while you're doing some testing. So you've shut your pond off, wait 24 hours. Did it go down this much or did it go down this much in 24 hours? If it went down this much in 24 hours, we want to make sure that we leave it off for another 24 hours. Not to risk the health of the fish, but what we want to do is we want to isolate the pond from the waterfalls in the streams. So by doing that, it tells us whether or not the pond is actually holding water. Okay, we might have a low edge, we might have a tear in the liner. So we've got to get to the point of it instead of just taking everything apart. Day two, if the pond hasn't dropped, we want to turn on our waterfalls. We want to go alongside the streams. We want to look for that liner. Especially when there's changes in the elevation of the water, you want to look to the sides of that. See if you see any wet spots along in the mulch in that. If you ever need any help, give us a call. You're in Southeast Michigan. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks again for watching. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. This is my YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Have a great day. If you have a comment, put it down below. Make sure to hit that like button. Thanks a lot. Take care.